Hi, my name is Jude Timber, and in my presentation, I will be talking about the Scalopteryx occidentalis. Throughout this video, I will be referring to their common name, which is the Western Fence Lizard, found in the Los Angeles River. Starting with the status of the species, the Western Fence Lizard is categorized as having a stable population. This is due to the species having many habitats where it can live and thrive. They can be found where trees and rocks are abundant. Additionally, these lizards have a large population, which makes them low on the priority list of species to save. They can be found all over the West Coast, ranging from Delta, British Columbia, Canada, to Baja, California, Mexico. However, they are native to Southern California, as the map shows. Relative to the Los Angeles River, however, they can be found primarily on the banks of the river. Looking at the Alessian Valley map, there are 24 observations in that portion of the river, but when looking at the Sepulveda Basin, the number of observations is drastically less, at only 3. Additionally, I compared the soft bottom stretches to the channels, and it is clear that there are more lizards living in the soft bottom stretches rather than the channels. This is due to a variety of reasons. In the soft bottom stretches, they contain more plants and rocks, which is the lizard's preferred habitat. While in the channels, which consists of a lot more concrete, the lizards prefer not to live there due to the lack of rocks and foliage. According to iNaturalist, the soft bottom stretches had 27 combined observations while the channels only had one combined observation. Some of the revitalization strategies that I think would work well with this species is by first improving water quality. The Los Angeles River is notorious for being very dirty, and a way to revitalizing any species is to keep their habitat clean, and improving the water quality should be on the top of that priority list. When looking at the map below, it shows the, por the portions nearest to the river line are highest priority when looking to restore the water quality, ranging from 1, which is in yellow, to 5, which is in magenta. According to this map, many spots along the river range from 3 to 5 on the water restoration priority list. Lastly, reducing impervious surfaces would be another way to revitalize the species. Impervious surfaces are artificial structures such as pavements that are covered by water-resistant materials such as asphalt, concrete, brick, and stone. The western fence lizard does not rely on concrete surfaces to survive, so by reducing these surfaces and creating more soft bottom stretches will help this species thrive. Overall, this species is not one of the species that is a priority to save, but by implementing some of the revitalization strategies while also being more careful around the LA River, they could have a chance of never reaching that point. Thank you.